Well, I don't really do tour reviews, but I've had this for about 25 years, it's done me well. I used to have a pass load, which built loads of decks and some houses and things. It did quite well, but it was a bit grumpy. It started running out of gas very quickly, or the battery would be dead, or it didn't like the winter. One or the other. So I went back to this. Very reliable, but neither this nor the pass load. We were ever happy about putting in these ring nails. And the Dewalt works fine on the 50 litre compressor here at the workshop. But it won't fire these ring nails in on the little 6 litre on site. And I don't really want to buy a, a bigger compressor for site work. I've just finished that window seat. And I sort of wished sometimes that I had my pass load. It was winter, so it probably wouldn't bloody work. But I sort of wished I had my pass load again. Because just pipes, you know, just pipes everywhere, the wires. So, been paid for that. In a couple of weeks, I'm up to build a fence, so bought a new toy. It's quite heavy. I remember the pass load being quite heavy. I flogged that on eBay a couple of years ago. And coming up, I might have a big garden room somewhere else to build. I've got a few decks offered. Um, I've got, like I say, I've got a fence to put up. And then I've got a hospital bed to build and a few other bits. So that'll come in. I won't use it on the hospital bed of course, so I'm sure that will come in useful. Right, I bought a new saw. I've gone with the LI, which is the blade on the left. I'm going to have a go at that. Because these ones with the blade on the right, you know, you're cutting like that. And you always got to look over to see where it's cutting. Same with this one. I've just dug these two out, give them a clean. These are replacement batteries, but they're 3 amp. I don't remember what the Bosch ones were. They were 2, 2.5 or something. But I'm just charging. Just charging those. They take ages to charge. They fit alright. Not as well as the Bosch ones do, but that's dead, you see. But both machines still work. I think I'm just going to flog them on eBay, because this still works. No battery. But this one lives in the van. That'll cut up to 60mm deep. And because it's 240, it's got plenty of grunt, you know, it'll fly through most timbers. This one, I don't remember why I didn't use it much. It does work, I've tried it. And I haven't got another cordless SDS. And I know that my corded one, my Dewalt, you know, that's the one I prefer. It's thinner, it's lighter. You know, it's it's alright when you're in people's houses and you can plug it in. But I would like a 18 volt cordless SDS. So, I don't know. So I might just flog these, that'll inspire me to get an 18 volt one. But this, it does have a, a groove for the track. You can see it sits on the guide, okay. But it's too wide or too narrow, whichever way you look at it. So I could either make some plywood tracks with this, just for ripping down sheets, you know, just to get them in the shed here, rather than having to get me, get me power out to get that set up. Or I could make a base so this sits on there and I'll probably make it so that the blade is nowhere near this edge. Well, a millimetre or two off so that all it's doing is just ripping down, just rough ripping down just to get it in the shed here, like I say. That's for another day though. And like I say, I bought this one because I want to be able to, you know, see what I'm cutting. Plus the new LI batteries, the lithium ion batteries are a lot better than these NICAD things that are in this. A bit lighter and they've got a lot more grunt. 
this you can't see on there these are the same size blades as my plunge saw so I've got plenty of blades for that fine ones, rough ones, rip cuts this has got a 160 that's a 160 blade in there you might be able to squeeze a 165 in and it says 16 there, I can't remember what the bore size is but that's the bore size 16 2.4mm curve 16mm so it's no good for any of the blades that I've got I don't think I've got any other blades for this Bye. And this thing, it does feel a bit weird, you know, we're used to having blade on that side, it does feel a bit weird with it on this side. But I want to be able to do what the Yanks do, or Americans I should say. Lots of grunt. See I can see where I'm cutting without having to lean over like that. might have a job coming up where I've got to cut some 8 inch timbers and they'll be really long so because getting long timbers like that on the mat so it's difficult I think that'll be good for that firewood bugger I was trimming this back cut through the land line still got TV that comes down there be careful when I trim this but that means no internet to the PC, to the computer. Don't know where the wire is. I'm waiting for them to come back and fix this. I could fix it myself, but I've been taught to leave it alone. If I fiddle with it, they might end up charging me. Which is getting a bit big, look. Shopping. That's been charging for well over an hour. These ones take 20 to 30 minutes, if that. Right, bed's back. They've decided, annoyingly, a little bit annoyingly anyway, because I wasn't very happy with the design anyway. But that is to be the same size as that. Well, no. It's going to have the same distance at the bottom, should I say. So it'll be about that high. So I've got to remake that. I struggled with the drawing in the first place, I drew something and in the end it got passed so I built, I built you know what I drew, I didn't really like the design, I thought it looked like something that should go down, down a train track or Red Bull race or something like that, but anyway they don't like it so I've got to rebuild that. So in van here I've got a piece of Medite MR 9mm I'm going to cut some strips off it just to get it out of the van because I think finally I'm going to get to play with my new nail gun it's been in there a couple of months but I think delivery is coming tomorrow the builder suppliers have just, just got back up and running and deliveries are coming so yay I'll cut this out of rough size get it in the shed get it out of the way
No, that'll have to wait. Those will have to wait. I thought I was just tidying all these pieces up and spraying them now. So. I think for this, I am going to buy a base. Fuck off. I think for this, I am going to make a base so that I can use my trucks. It was alright, but a bit wobbly. I could buy one of them things that clamp, you know, but I'd have to buy both. And I've got all my trucks, so I just need to make this fit. this battery green light on which meant it was charged but it's not I think it's oh, it's flashing now I think it's a bit knackered that battery because this one flashed and it only took about half an hour or something to charge Just tried it on this lot. Might give it a second go. in this thing. Sounds a lot more powerful. does have a fine tooth blade in and it's a 16 mil bar I don't know if I can get these blades see I've only just put that in and it's gone to green already makes a weird noise right that battery's not charging very well so I'm going to keep this one in van just for now. Or do I just flog the whole thing? If there's anybody in Leeds, get in touch with me. But I think this is going on eBay soon.